He's like he can't. He, he tried to support. <laughs> Where are we coming back? Where are we? One more mid. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's that, there. We go. Smells like content. <laughs> <laughs>
like this. Revealing it's gonna area. bounce inside the tube here and reveal everyone all the way in here and you can wall bang them. And the reason why I'm using a diamond uh, lineup here is because usually it will be smoked off here. Obviously if it isn't smoked off you could just aim for this corner. Revealing area. Another wall bang arrow you can do from the same spot. This is if they've already pushed into kitchen. You get into the same spot here. And this time you can use your first charge bar line right on this corner and then find the height until the K is just inside the bar. Because once again this area can be smoked off so you want to have somewhere closer where you can make the lineup. You do a full charge one bounce. Revealing and you should fly around here and into kitchen. And this can be wall banged with heavy penetration through here. So you can basically stand here and aim straight forward and shoot them. It's very interesting to attack on this map because some of the distances through middle are so short that it's very easy to wrap around and get backstabbed, but it's also very easy to rotate. So just have that in mind when you push sites. So two nice attacker variations, recon darts for A attack. First one, you get into this line up here and you just take your left charge bar and put it right on this dark line here. Uh, the verticality isn't that important, but just under this one. So like this, full charge 2 bar. Revealing this one area. hits the edge of nest here and is really nice if they're playing eco and camping with a shorty. If you just want to reveal sight or even the other nest, you can just line up these two walls here and aim right on this line here and do a one bounce full charge. Revealing area. Should go inside there. When attacking middle, mid control is really important on this map because it's so easy to rotate through middle. You can get into this corner here, and then you're just gonna place your bottom left drone icon charge bar next to this black dot, like this, and do a one bar. Revealing area. It's gonna hit right on the tip there. And if you want to reveal further back into boiler, you can just look at this corner here until it just shows up, and just do a full charge one Revealing bounce. Area. When attacking B, there are so many cubbies that you need to clear out, especially if they're on an eco using shorties or whatever. So, you can get in here and you can line up this one so it just disappears like that while your back is towards the wall. And you're just gonna aim a full charge one bounce recon to the lower half of this corner like that. Revealing area. And it's gonna hit right here on the crane and reveals everything here. Now that we're done with the boring recons, let's move over to the juicy shock darts we've found so far. A really nice double shock dart that hits default plant. You can do all the way back here from belt. You line yourself up with this one like that. And then the first one is gonna be a full charge double bounce where you place your first charge bar line in between this one like that. I'll just show you at the recon. This one's gonna bounce twice and then hit default. Then the second one you're gonna place both your charge wire diamonds on each side of this line. Like that. And a full charge one bounce. So in quick succession it's gonna look like this. Revealing area. Revealing area. It's right on default. This one is really good because when you're diffusing, you're crouched down. It's really hard to see it coming because it's gonna hit you right above the head here. So a nice double shock start for default plant on A is to just... So the default plant is here by the way. A nice double shock start for default on A is so get into this corner here. Then place your... This arrow inside the charge bar like this. The fourth arrow. Then do a two bar one bounce. And then you're gonna move down the same second charge bar line and put it between those two and also do a two bar one bounce. It's gonna look like this. I'll show you with recon darts. Just so you can see where it lands. There you go. If you're rotating through spawn, you can do a simple shock dart that just hits default plant to deny the plant by just aiming above this corner. So anywhere in this vertical line is fine. Just do a one bounce, one bar. Just hits on default here. This one has a lot of leeway, so it's really easy to use. Like when you're rotating, just quickly rotate and do this. Should be fine. A nice uh, pseudo double shock dart that is mostly used to deny their planting when you're rotating from middle is to get into this corner here and they're gonna place the Q under your shock dart 
icon right here on this dot like this this one is a bit clunky to get used to then you're gonna do a one bar one bounce and then afterwards you're gonna quickly aim up and just place your left charge by right on this corner and do a click so it's gonna look like this Stop that. Stop that. You want to make sure it lands just around the corner so it damages them even if they plant on this side or this side because if it lands here it's actually going to do no damage to people standing here so make sure it lands here so if you plant on b this is the default plant because it's the first one you get to and it has the most cover you can actually get into this cubby here you line up with this green wall like that and just place your right charge bar corner right here so a bit above this line and right here like that do a full charge double bounce it's right on default so this is a really good double shock dart for default b that works both as a defender anti-plant and a post plant in clutch situations so you're gonna have your back towards this ice wall here until these two lines line up like that and then the first one is gonna be a one bar over the roof. So you just place the top of your left charge bar diamond right on this black spot like this. And then the second one, you're gonna place your bottom left charge bar corner right on this snowflake below the black corner. So in quick succession, I'm gonna show you with recons. One bar. Revealing area. Revealing area. Boom. Another quick anti-plant shock dart from the same spot is if you're playing this position, you're peeking here or something, you see they're pushing, and you don't have time to go and line up the double shock here, you can simply aim for the corner of this yellow box somewhere around this area. Bounces and hits right on default as well. So another nice defender double shock, if you're coming from middle, you can get into this corner here. And you just line these two up against each other like that. And then you're going to place your crosshair right above the tip of this black edge here. Like this. And do one bar plus a jump. Followed by a full charge double bounce into the bottom corner of this K. I'll show you with recon darts. So, one bar jump. Revealing area. Full charge double bounce. Revealing area. So that was it for my icebox lineup so far. We will definitely be doing a lot of lineup streams on this new map. So I'm super happy to hear what you guys think as well, because I think we can find a lot more interesting stuff. You know, when a map just got revealed, of course, there's a lot of untouched things that we can discover. I have yet to find something that works with this thing. I really want to make something work with bouncing things of this area. somehow so that's something to work on and the same thing with this massive ship in the background having something that can bounce off stuff in the background and come back in somewhere is definitely a possibility thank you guys for watching and feel free to join my discord if you want to catch up on all the lineup discussion we do because we're definitely going to be labbing this map out a lot and if not i'll see you on twitch